day, huh? Beautiful day to stop fracking and come to My name is Steve Saint. I'm the executive director of the Fight Street Justice and Peace Commission. Yeah. And for five years, the coordinator of the Green Cities Coalition. And I just want to thank all of you for being here because you're here because you care about the future. And that's what sustainability is all about. It's living in such a way that the future has a future. And everyone here is committed at some level to uh, looking at the future and living our lives now like that future matters. So I just want to thank everybody here for being here. I'm reading in the Denver Post today about a fracking revolt in this state, okay? Longmark, Fort Collins, Colorado Springs, Lafayette. They, they don't frame it like it's a revolt, but it is a revolt all across the state. Palmer Lake, okay, there is a people's revolt going on, okay, and they, they won't say that out front, but if you look at all these cities, Gunnison County, Elbert County, all these counties are questioning things, cities are questioning things, we're on a roll, we're part of the future, we're going to stop fracking all across the state, thank you for being here. a couple other things about the future. One of them is, is that we're going to have to keep this conversation going. We don't know how they're going to vote. We don't know. It might just end up being a nothing happening today. And that's possibly because Ultra Petroleum doesn't really plan to frack here anymore. And so to the council, it may seem like a mood issue. But we know that somebody else is next in line. This is the future we're talking about. Who's next in line? We don't know. Is it going to be an oil and gas company? We don't know. Is it going to be a developer who wants to go back to, to residential? We don't know. It could be Steve Shuck and Company. It could be Norwood. We don't know. So we need to continue this conversation in the future about our future. And I just want to mention a couple of things coming up. Thursday morning at Rico's, thank you, Richard Scorman. The Green, uh, Green Cities Coalition Steering Committee will be meeting. Everyone's invited to have breakfast Thursday morning. We'll be there from 8 to 10. On the 28th, that's a Thursday evening, we're going to have a green drinks right over here at a new store. So we're ready for that? Okay, so there's going to be on the 28th, that's a Thursday night, right over here at Weber and Pikes Peak. A new store is opening that's going to be selling local products only. That's to nourish organic juice. Those are just two opportunities in the future to talk about the future. So if you're interested in those things and you're not on a sign up yet to get that alert over at that table, you can put your email down. We'll make sure you hear about when we're going to continue this conversation. We need Banning Lewis Ranch to be taken out of, of, of production. Yeah. We need Banning Lewis Ranch to be set aside. We don't need it to go to another oil and gas or another developer. So we need to push city council. Maybe they need to buy that. So let's consider the future of Banning Lewis Ranch and where we're going from here. I'd like to introduce Bill McKibben. Unfortunately, Bill is not here in person, but he did have something to say to us. If you read The End of Nature in 1990, you know about climate change and what Bill McKibben's been doing. So let's hear what he has to say. Thank you, Steve. Last year, we managed to get a ban in my home state of Vermont, the first in the country to do so, and that took a weight off our shoulders. Not long afterward, the neighboring province of Quebec did the same thing. Opposition to fracking, in other words, crosses languages, because it's based on the international language of science. We know by now that this is a dangerous technology, dangerous close to home, and dangerous to the atmosphere. Partly that's because of leaking methane, a highly dangerous gas that contributes to climate change. And partly that's because cheap natural gas undercuts truly clean energy sources like the wind or the sun. Colorado has seen the face of climate change up close. We all watched in sadness last year as you dealt with those remarkable blazes. And it's seen the possibilities for an energy economy based on the sun and the wind. I'm so glad you're working today to protect your city and your planet. And I'll be cheering you on from a distance. Many thanks. Bill McKibben. Yeah. Yeah.